Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to learn about circular interpolation using ING. This is the first quadrant. First we will see 0, 0 the starting point is here. So we have to take the start point is here, end point is here. So the arrow comes down, the end is comes down. If arrow is comes down now, so this arrow comes down here. In this case, how you will write i and j value? i is measured from the starting point of the arc to the center of the arc parallel to the x-axis. So, i is comes from x-axis. J is comes from Y axis. So J measure from the start point of the arc to the center of the arc parallel to the Y axis. Okay. In this you see here start point is here, end point is here. So the arrow is comes down. So arrow is comes down in which axis? X axis. So X axis means I. So I is 0. Y axis. If Y is J, no, so Y is here. So the arrow is comes down here. You see? Down means J is minus. After that, after that, you see next circle. In the same first quadrant, the starting point we have to write here and end point is here. So or start, starts from here, ends from here. So, end point is here. The start point is here, no? So, the arrow is comes towards here. You see, the arrow is ends from y-axis. So, y-axis is j. So, j value is here is 0. Okay. x-axis is i. So, x axis says i means you see the arrow is goes this side. So, this side is minus. So, i minus. Okay, after that, we will see second quadrant. Second quadrant is this place. This is the second quadrant. The same way, this is 0, 0. The start point is here, end point is here. So, the arrow is, you have to draw the arrow from here to here. This arrow is here, the start point is here, no? The so arrow towards down. Already, we seen in the first quadrant, you see the x-axis is this. x-axis, this means, you see the arrow is, end point is here. So, x-axis is here, the end point. So, i is 0 in this case. You see the y-axis. Y-axis is the arrow is comes down. So down means j minus. In the same way, now we have to see the second quadrant. The start point you have to write it here. The end point is write it here. Opposite side you have to write. This is start point. This is end point. So you have to start it from here to end it from here. The arrow is comes this side. The start is here, no? So, the arrow is comes this way. You see, this is x-axis. So, x-axis means this, this side is plus x, this is minus x. So, the arrow goes to plus side. So, i plus. Okay. Y-axis is j. So, y-axis is j means the, the arrow is in end point. This is starting position, this is end position. So, end point. So, j is 0 in this case. Okay. Now, we will see third quadrant. Third quadrant is this side. Same way, you have to start point is you have to take it as here. End point, you have to take it is here. So, you have to draw the arc. So, the arrow is comes this way. So, start point is here. No, so the arrow goes this side. In this, you see the end point is in y. y is j. So, j is 0 in this case. 
What is i value in this case? You see i is here. So the arrow is towards plus. So i plus. Okay, in same third quadrant, you have to reverse the start and end point. You see, you have to write, start from here, end point is here. Here is start point is we have to take in from here. But here we have to take in from end point here. So start point is here, no? So you have to draw the arc from here. So then start point is here, no? So the arrow goes this way. Okay. In x axis you see the end position is here, no? So x is so x is i, no? So i is 0. So i value is 0. What is j value? j value is this is the i. y axis is j. So you see the arrow is goes up. Up means j plus. Now we go with fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant is this is the fourth quadrant. This is the fourth quadrant. So we have to write start point you have to take it as here. End point you have to take it as here. Okay. So this, the arrow is goes up here to here. So start point is here. No, the arrow goes this way. Okay. In x axis, you see the end position is here. The arrow is comes here. So i value is 0 in this case. So i value is 0. What is j value in this case? j is here, no? j is here. j is here means, you see the, the arrow is goes up. So j is plus. Okay, you see this one in this. You see the starting point is here, no? So you have to write the starting point is here, end point is here. So starting point is here, end point is here. So the arrow, the starting point is here, no? So the arrow comes here. So this one, the arrow is goes this way. In this, you see the end point is here, no? Is in y direction. So y direction is j. So j, 0. Okay, what is i value? You see the x-axis towards minus. So i minus. Now we will see the first quadrant in this case. You see in this we will draw the line from the center. Okay, this is the line. The starting point is here, end point is here. So you have to draw the arc from here to here. So the arc is comes here now. So draw the arc line here. Here, this is starting point is here. So comes down now. So this is also y axis also comes down. Okay, in same way, you see this quadrant. You have to draw the center here. Now, here start point is here, end point is here. So, draw the arc from starting point to end point here. So, the arc comes down this way. This starting point is here, no? So, the arc is goes this way. So, you see the x-axis, the, the arc is comes this way. Arc is this side, so this comes this side. This is ends with here, no? So, it comes down. The same way, you see... The arc is down. So, this goes this way. This way, don't go this way. This way only goes. So, you see the arc is comes down. No? So, this value, this arrow mark comes down. Okay. Now, we will write here. This is x axis. Okay. X axis is i. i means you see the arrow is goes which side? Minus side. So, you have to write i. Minus. Okay. You see the y-axis. The arrow is comes down. If down means you see. Y-axis is minus. So j minus. Okay. Same way you see. X-axis is in this. That is called i. I. You see the i value is in x-axis. No. The arrow goes which side. Minus side. So, I minus. Okay. You see, 
the y axis is j so the arrow comes in which direction minus direction so j minus Okay, in second quadrant is, this is the second quadrant. Okay, draw the center. Starting point is here, end is here. So, the arc goes this way. The arc goes this way, no? So, this one comes this side. The arc goes this way. So, the arc comes this side. The same way, Draw the arc. The starting point is here. End point is here. The arc comes down. Down means it goes this way. This is down no? So, here it comes down. You see the starting point is here. End point is here. So, it one comes down. This is goes this way no? So, you have to draw the arc this way in x axis. The same way. The uh, end point is here, no? So, the arc comes this way and the arc is comes down. So, the y axis also the arc is comes down. So, now we have to write the i value and the j value in this case. You see, y axis is j. j means, you see, the arrow is comes down. Down means this is in minus. So, my j minus. Here is j minus. What is x axis? x axis here, the arrow comes this way, here is plus x. So, plus x means i plus. So, here is i plus. In same way, you see here, the x axis is this side. So, this side means, this is plus x, so i plus. So, this is i plus. What is y axis? Y axis that comes down. So, j minus. Okay, we will see the third quadrant. Third quadrant is this is the third quadrant. So, you have to draw the line. This is starting point. This is end point. So, the arrow goes this way. The arrow goes this way means here comes this side, goes up no, so the arrow goes, here is upside. In same way, you have to draw the line, starting point is here, end point is here, the arrow comes this way, so the arrow comes this side for x is y axis, x axis is this comes this no, so the arrow comes this way for x axis okay now you have to we have to write i and j value in this case you see i value you see here i value the arrow goes this side comes this side so plus this side so i plus here you see the j j value is y axis so the arrow is goes up here is y plus y so j plus. Next, you see here, i is goes this way. i is goes this way is, here is plus. So, i plus. In y axis, you see, the arrow is goes up. So, here is y axis is plus. So, j plus. Next, we will see fourth, fourth quadrant is this side. So, we have to draw the line. Starting point is here, end point is here. So, draw the arc. So, the arrow is ends here. So, we have to draw the arrow, arrow mark here. So, this comes down no straight here this way no. So, we have to draw this way. The same way you have to draw the line. Starting point is here, end point is here. So the arrow is goes this way. So the arrow comes this side. So you see the arrow is comes the upside, no? So upside means it goes up. 
the arrow goes carries upside now we have to write x and y axis value x and y axis i and j value you see i value the arrow is goes this side so here is minus 6 so minus y i so i minus i minus i minus okay you see j j is y axis you see the arrow is goes upside so up is this is plus y so j j plus in this case you see in this x axis is the arrow mark goes this side so i minus here is x axis minus no here so i minus for y axis y axis is this way so the arrow is goes up so j plus Thanks for watching this video.